Hey, William. Oh, my goodness. If I asked you to name an everlasting piece of art, what would come to mind? Euphoria. <laughs> yes. And there are reports out of Sweden in Swedish newspaper Aftonbladet that Lorene is returning to Melody Festival in 2023. Shall we talk about it? Let's, Let's do this! this. Oh my goodness, Afton Blodet has been working its sources and they can basically confirm that Lorene is back. Their sources say, and I quote, she has somewhat reluctantly allowed herself to be convinced. Once she tried singing it, everything felt right. Devin, what do you think about the reported news that Lorene is returning to Melody Festival in? I'm going to preface this by saying that I'm probably one of Laureen's most dedicated and committed fans. I don't like where this is going. As a result, honesty is front and center. And I just don't think that this is right for her. How, who are you to say what's right and not right for the queen? What I can say is that Laureen is famous for not actually saying yay or nay until the very final minute. And I just want her to think it through. Laureen. Girl. You're my queen. But please. Don't do Melody Festival again. Don't listen to him. Listen, the source at Action Blood also mm -hmm. said, yes, she will be there. She waited for a long time but loves the song. She's already been through the waiting process. She's thought this through and she's gonna come back and slay. Did you hear her recent single, Neon Lights? Babe, amazing. I'm all about it. It's been, it hasn't left my playlist. It's amazing. I listen to it every day. It's absolutely amazing. And if this is the space she's in creating that kind of music, I'm even more ready for her. We should point out that Afton Blight reports she will be working with the two songwriters who are behind Euphoria, Peter Bostrom and Thomas Gason, along with Jimmy Joker Thornfelt, who, of course, has done tons of amazing entries. Yeah. It doesn't matter. Okay, let me tell you why I'm excited because your and then I'll tell you why I'm not. Your poo poo party is full of S H I T. We need to see the joy and the light. Every single time she's been to Melody Festival, and she's given us moments. My heart is refusing me. When that got knocked out a second chance, I was devastated. Euphoria, chart topper, record breaker. Well, people breaker. don't come to be knocked out. That's the point. No, but she comes to make a statement, which she did with statements. And when then she got knocked out by, by Anton, Anton Hagman, Hagman. Of all people. Listen. Who, by the way, is only known for beating Laureen in Melody Festival. I, I don't... No risk, no reward. She brought a very divisive performance with statements, which is one we're still talking about all these years later. I'm sorry, but Neon Therefore, Lights did not need a TV show to plug no, in. No, it didn't need, but it's great to have. The fact is, Statements lives on with so many people. On the Wimmy Blogs Instagram and Twitter today, we asked people, what's your favorite entry from Sweden? And a lot of people weren't saying Euphoria, they were saying Statements. Listen, but you know what? Those people don't... Noreen, listen, if you're watching this video, I love you. Uh, my love for you is... Uh, Honestly, it's paper lights. Love that. Oh my God. With all of this, we're at Melody Festival. Oh, Kazaki. It was amazing. And guess what? She didn't compete with that. And she Turn still made us. Coming back to the sun. Coming back to the sun. Baby, we are. It was amazing. Listen, I, just, like, I have a question. Why are you opposed to her returning? What is the. Re your actual reservation is it's very simple laureen is the pinnacle yes you don't need a tv show to mark a moment in your career and if you felt that you needed that come back as the intermission excuse act. me maybe come back as no seriously no honestly seriously 
You don't need, you don't need to compete. Our girl has proven herself repeatedly. She has nothing to lose. She only has things to gain. If she's knocked out, this it does her no harm. The ultimate, it does her no harm. This is the ultimate synth queen. You know what? Well, hold up. Apart from hold me up. Life, 71 Charger. And one of my favorite Kevin, songs listen. of all time. Okay. Crying out your name so bad. Body. Amazing. I, I, I'm in it with you. Melody Festival. I'm in, Festival is, I'm in it with you. Okay. Melody Festival is such a huge platform. It is such a huge platform. It is a massive opportunity. It's not like she's entering San Marino's Uno Voce per San Marino. It's not like she's interview. You know, enter, entering one in three sixty. It's not like she's entering. I don't know what was the one they used to do in Montenegro in the conference room, Montevizia. She's entering Melody Festival, which holds huge sway over the music charts in Sweden. And she probably has a banging song, given the team she's working with. She makes good artistic choices, to your point. All the songs you named, she chose. She slayed. She's going to slay with whatever she's coming back with, or she wouldn't have taken it. Using the words of Laureen, fiction looks good. These people, they don't pick up the phone to vote. That's just the Which reality. People? Which they people? don't pick up the phone. What people? They, people you, this Sweet? is the thing. The fans are going to go, oh, yeah, come back, come back, come back, come back. It's not about coming. Ultimately, half of them don't vote. And then the ones that do vote will be like, oh, let's just vote for Anton because, girl, you know, Laureen is going to go through anyway. But girl. it's votes that count. And then no, 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 ultimately, no, 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 no. those votes don't That's add not up. what happened. What happened was she had a very risky divisive performance because she's an artist she does what she believes in that's what happened there this was not about people being lazy because people will also be lazy about anton ultimately she has the goods she should deliver she should perform melody fiction looks good the reality is painful. she told me in our Hate interview the way that i love you but i love you nonetheless and i'm gonna keep it real laureen do the song with Thomas Jason and Peter Bostrom. Of course, we, we need more of that. I actually think Laureen is an amazing songwriter. And there are different roles that you can take in the Eurovision sphere. Laureen could easily be um, a songwriter for, you know, the Melody Festival and Stable. She could be part of the delegation. She could be a mentor. There are just so many other roles. Or and, you know, she could also put out music. She could also be a two-time winner of Melody Festival and the Eurovision Song Contest. So I am happy for her to take on that role. In your stable of roles, that's the role I want her to take. With all due respect, we Can couldn't even something? get her to the Melody Festival and final, let alone... Honey, I mean, let's just this keep is it a new real. year with a new song. Just... She told me in our interview in Torino that she was entering a new phase of her career. Kind of a new spiritual you can phase. You any narrative I'm not spitting anything. It. I'm spitting facts. You can There's spin no anything. spinning. There is spitting. And in this spit, we see the truth. Okay? You read the tea leaves. I'm reading the saliva. Our girl is here to slay and to showcase her new sound. Okay? Statements was painful. In painful what way? Painful in the sense in that what it way? didn't advance. I mean, to me, I kind of felt that, you know, statements would have done very well at Eurovision. But here's the thing. Oh, it, could, it could have potentially won. It did won. not even it make won. the Melody Festival and final. And... In terms of it could have potentially won, it was not even certain. Because actually, by the time Eurovision came round, I, I think statements could have been in the top 10. It may have been in the top 5. It wasn't a clear winner like Euphoria was back in 2012. Listen, let's just keep it real. You know what I'm doing? Bring out the music. We want the music. She's bringing out the music at Melody Festival. And Don't compete. Swedish television. Don't compete with the music. Come on, Kazaki. Uh, Laureen featuring Kazaki with Paper Lights. That was a moment at Melody Festival. You don't, you don't need to compete with it. You don't need to be one of the you know 40 what? songs. Deben Adarimi, weeweeblogs.com. I don't know what scares you. I think you're, you're still just having PTSD from statements not getting through. Instead, stop looking to the past and start embracing the future. Because if Afton Blada has it right, Laureen will be in the lineup. Okay, Laureen will be in the lineup. If Afton Blada has it right, they also they say normally that Laureen do. does not make up her mind until the final minute. Laureen, think this through.
and say, yes, my queen. She's already thought this through, Devin. They've been in negotiations for like ever. It's not a good idea. It's not a bad idea. It's not a good it's idea. It's not a bad idea. She literally has nothing to lose. Oh, no, 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 She no, can no, only no. gain. She no, will no, only gain. I don't think so. There are lots of stars in Sweden. Okay, let's talk, for instance, Krista Siegfried's entered Melody Festival and twice, and the second time she didn't even make it out, you know, didn't even make it to second chance. But she won UMK. Before it's that. a different market. Before You're that. not telling me. This is not like what Laureen it didn't going to America to release a bill, uh, uh, you know, a hit that is aiming for the Billboard charts. This is completely different. Listen, Paul, Paul Ray didn't win Melody Festival and he's slaying. He's still slaying. Molly Sandin, Molly Sandin didn't win Melody Festival and she's still slaying. Who is he? Still slaying. Molly Sandin... Listen, girl. These people. You don't. It, there is no <laughs> risk here. There's no reputation. There damage. is a risk. There is and they, it, they, they, It's a big risk. And I. So I, let me tell you. If she enters and doesn't win, what's the risk? What will happen to the queen? What will happen to her? Kerala has oh. come back and not won before. She's oh, doing she's okay. Like, she's doing okay. Listen, I think I think Laureen to me is. Uh, towers above all these other names. I'm sorry. Kerala I'm sorry. is an institution. A in biblical Sweden. one that I don't subscribe in to. In Sweden. Listen. She has reconciled with her gay fans if you're trying to bring up that past beef. They've reconciled. <laughs> I okay. haven't forgotten. I haven't forgotten. They have reconciled. You know what? I haven't forgotten. But listen. I but, well, you're, you ain't in yeah, Sweden. I'm reconciled. You ain't in Sweden. I'm reconciling in the other you direction. <laughs> <laughs> you know? I just got to keep it real. Invincible? You, no, it ain't. Because I heard all those comments. Girl. I heard Girl. all those comments. Let's see what the most voted for comment Fiction is. Fiction feels on... good, but reality bites. Okay. I mean, that's just the reality of it. The most voted comment on the Weeblogs website is from Vitrina, who says, Statements was robbed. I'm still mad about it. You know what? Being mad does not get you to the Melody Festival. And this is the thing, you know? You still need to advance in your pre-selection uh, and to then uh -huh. go on to Eurovision to compete again. Why All do right. you want to do that? Thanos If you says... are a 10-time champion with the song of the ESC 250 of the ESC 250 and uh -huh. your song was such a global smash why did girl, you build on that you girl, don't need I'm sorry no offense I love the ESC 250 but it's not the Grammy Awards okay like our queen can do what she wants Thanos writes as much as I fear that Sweden may not vote for her if she goes down that road I really want Loreen to compete with something alternative and experimental like she did in 2017 and how well did that do statements was my what Statements was miles better than the Melfest winner of that year and would have been one of the most artistic, theatrical, and avant-garde songs ever to compete at the Eurovision Song Except Contest. Except it didn't. And Euphoria, even while being a Euro pop song, also had something alternative to it and was presented True. in a heavily theatrical way. Can't wait to hear what she has in store. I can't us. wait to, to hear what Laureen has in store, but I just don't want whatever that is to compete. That's just my thing. I want her back. I want her every day. She lives on all my playlists. And I absolutely adore her. I loved your interview with her. She's amazing. Anything Laureen I'm tuning into. When she went to Slovenia to do that um, music show and she opened with 71 Charger, oh, I was amazing. just like, oh my God, I wasn't even looking at the bald head. I was just looking at, mm. I was just feeling, coming yeah. through my speakers. Yeah. Though you lay your head on my head on my head on Not my everyone head. agrees with us about anything. Paul Legend God Nova says, the way no one in Sweden has cared about this lady since 2013, but Eurofans somehow think that her entering Melfest with a song written by Gason, another person who owes his entire career to Euphoria, means she's winning Eurovision? God bless LOL. Dang, that was a takedown. Um, wow. I, well, I mean, it's a house divided, isn't it? I mean, you know, I, I want Laureen to continue to make great music. I, I don't even think this is just about music. I think, I think she's an artist. I think to your point. Eurofan says, let's be totally honest here. Have a good hard think about Laureen coming back. How on earth could she come close to topping her 2012 entry? It would be virtually impossible to come up with a song and performance that would create that Eurovision moment. Apart from Johnny Logan, no one has managed to win twice. I honestly think that achievement will never be repeated. You know what? Never say never. Never say I mean, yeah. never. Yeah. Laureen, if anyone could do it, it could be Laureen. I don't think you have to recreate the moment of euphoria. You don't have to win in a landslide. You just got to win. And our girl's a winner. But, you know, when is enough enough? You know? Never I, enough. You know, I, I never just think, enough. I think there comes a point when you reach a point in your career where you're so revered and you're so admired. I think mentorship is actually a good step. 
Mentorship is fine. I think she can still mentor. Let's have you on the judging panel of Idol. Let's have you on the judging panel of The Voice. Spin a chair. Lots of people return to Eurovision and they become icons like Serhat. She is already an icon. So just imagine but I'm sorry, what she can be after another These spin. returnees had poor results to begin not with. Not always. Nighty Nat, Bulgaria, Carola, Poly, Gen Genova. Carola, she did not even qualify, Carola. so she came back, she came forth. Listen, Carola. even if Laureen wins Melody Festival and she still has to compete, I mean, it's just like, it's too much. It's not too it's much. So, it's never enough. It's so unnecessary. If you love her as much as you say you oh, do. Oh, massively. And you know I love her. Even don't even more listen. more screen time. D even more TV don't. time. Even more chart time. I'm ready. Listen. Don't annoy me. Because you know, you know how what? Much, you know how much I love her. And you're now you trying to play it like I don't. I, no, no, no. Can't hurt me now. Can't hurt me now. You know who I'm referring to? Can't hurt me now, can't hurt me now. I don't know what you're on about. Where's my finger pointing? Look at the viewfinder. Can't uh, hurt me now. Lots of queens come back. But these are queens that... I, I'm sorry, but your, 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 your uh, understanding of royalty is a real <laughs> sharp departure from what royalty truly means. You know? Oh, do you know... The, the, do, you know do you know what I love about Laureen? Tell me. Like... She goes beyond the music. Do you remember the video of I'm in it with you? Oh my god. Social it's issues. Good. And you know, and then it had that there was even a break. You could even hear the grit in the background. And I mean that's just great. And she's then when amazing. she performed it on a show and she was behind the oh. fence. She's got the power. She's got the power. She's got the she's power. Got the, I love that. That was her Eurovision follow-up single, right? Yeah. And it was amazing. I still listen to that. And then she re-released My Heart Is Refusing Me, oh. remixed, and that even became better. Incredible. I, you know, Incredible. we talk about, you can you can write dissertation on Laureen. And I just, <sighs> I mean, Neon Lights, I mean, I really love that. Just Great video. Really love, oh, I mean, just... In any case, we are oh. a house divided. What do you think? Do you think Laureen would be wise to return to Melody Festival? And could your opinion be changed when you hear a kick-ass song that could win Eurovision? Let us know here on We We Vlogs. Laureen. Do and it. that's the other thing. Do it. So what, Thomas Jason and Peter Bostrom and everything, they're writing a song for her. What, for another victory? When she writes her own songs? Listen. She knows that Melody Festival is a particular format. And maybe she wants what's the to points? win. What's the point? What's the, the point? What's the point of not going? Support somebody. What's the point of not going? No, 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 support somebody's journey to... I'm if sorry. you love something, embrace it. She loves Melody Festival and she embraces it. Well, like we don't. Are we on the stage? What are you talking about? Listen, you can love something without necessarily... You can love competing and want to compete. Let the woman compete. At what point does it become enough? I mean, it's what's never that enough, Devin. Um, uh, Sarah Nielsen, right? Seven undo. times, yeah. Seven ta but you know what? I respect her for actually holding... She got her undo. She undid her sag. Well, girl, she went seven times. Yeah. So, Lorene's only been twice. No, no. So, she's got five more. In no, no. Her. But she... No, Lorene's been three times. Three? Oh, yeah, you're right. Love you her. Know? And now, when well, she's coming back for a four... I'm ready. Oh, I'm ready. I mean... Really. <laughs> we'll see you later. Bye! Oh, no, no, no. Before we close this Girl, video. Girl, this video was 18 minutes. Is Laureen on Pinterest? Probably not. She's too cool for that. Follow We We Blogs on Pinterest. We're not on Pinterest. We are on Pinterest. We're on Instagram We and are Twitter. on Pinterest. The great irony no. is that I am on Pinterest, but I never use it. But I recently found my profile. I was like, what are all these baskets? Well, what, um, what, I, like, what, what were I, your baskets? <laughs> Easter egg, I had a Christmas theme basket, had a Halloween basket. I anyway, we'll see you later. Bye. Bye.